Here's a look at your top news headlines from Newsy. Russia's foreign ministry announced it will meet with North Korea's chief nuclear negotiator to talk about ending its nuclear program. The talks will reportedly take place Thursday. According to CNN, Russia's foreign ministry said the meeting is part of efforts to resume the six-party talks concerning North Korea's controversial nuclear program. Senator John McCain said North Korea's program was serious because of its increased capability, but Russia's attempt to do away with it was part of a, quote, false hope. Both Republican and Dem Democrat administrations have fallen prey to this. Well, if we give them food, if we give them oil, if we give them money, if we do that, then they will come around and they take our money and run. The league known for injury risk announced Friday it will not be participating in one of Washington's biggest health care fights, Obamacare. Members of Congress reportedly sent a letter to the NFL, MLB, NBA, and other sports organizations warning not to get involved with the White House given the divisiveness and persistent unpopularity of the health care law. White House officials looked to advertise the law through the NFL because they said it would be an effective way to reach men. In a written response, an NFL spokesman writes, we currently have no plans to engage in this area and have had no substantive contact with the administration. Some not so great news for students. Interest rates on some federal student loans are set to double Monday, impacting some 7 million borrowers. Congress broke for a week-long recess without moving to prevent rates on new Stafford loans from doubling to 6.8 percent. Republicans and Democrats are holding each other responsible. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell accused Senate Democrats of, quote, kicking the can down the road. But some Democrats asked Congress members to stop the clock, calling for a one-year freeze on loan rates. They're trying to use a student uh, to reduce the deficit. Uh, but in, in the end, uh, again, nothing reduces the deficit more than investing in education. But things could change after the July 4th recess. A writer for Credit.com reports the Senate will vote on July 10th, and it might be possible for lawmakers to make a new deal retroactively. Thanks for watching Top News Headlines. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.